Hey YouTube, Magma Rhino here, and as you can tell, today I'm talking about Apple's A5X processor uh, versus NVIDIA Tegra 3 um, Chi L, I can't even say it, um, their quad core processor. So basically, um, when Apple announced the new iPad, they made some pretty bold claims, claiming that uh, they had f their A5X dual core, uh, clocks at 1 gigahertz each, had four times the processing power of NVIDIA Tegra 3's quad-core processor clocked at 1.6 gigahertz. Um, now, obviously, uh, Apple used a very specific test so that it came out in their favor. Um, this was, of course, only one test in which they actually did have four times the power. But in all the other tests, it's pretty much a tie. And um, I'm going to get into that. Now, so here's the testing results. As you can see, I'm using the phonearena.com, or not the phone arena, just phonearena.com. Uh, basically, as you can see right here, in some of the graphical tests, the A5X processor does beat Tegra 3. Um, but in other things over here, like uh, the overall benchmarking score was higher on the Tegra 3. The Tegra 3 also uh, beat it on integer and float point and memory subtests um, and I mean you can read this on your own but basically they each won some of their own so it pretty much seems like they're about equal um, the Tegra 3 is a quad core 12 core GPU and the A5X is only a dual core uh, 4 core GPU so in case you're wondering how that is uh, basically, it's because, oops, sorry, uh, dual cores have been around for a little bit longer, so they've been perf perfected, while Tegra 3 is the first quad core available for phones and tablets. Um, so this is like, uh, hasn't been perfected yet, and uh, it still can be improved much. But the fact is, uh, the quad core has more raw power. It will be able to do more, and in the end, it will have more power. It might not be as efficient, but it will have more power. Uh, but getting to the efficiency, that's kind of deceiving. By efficiency, I mean power to uh, the amount of, you know, gigahertz the processor is running. One thing you're going to have to keep in mind is that the Apple A5X is only a dual core. It is, there is a reason they put a 45 watt hour battery in their new tablet as opposed to the 25 watt hour in the iPad 2 and all the others. It's because the thing goes through battery like crazy because it is only dual core. So what you have to think about is how much battery the thing's going to use up, how long it's going to take to charge, and how hot it's going to get when you're using the processor for too long. Um, plus, it is only the two uh, dual cores, so it's constantly going to be running both of those cores at uh, its lowest setting, whatever that might be. Whereas Tegra 3 has four cores and a companion core. So um, in standby mode, when it's not doing much, uh, when you're just scrolling screen, stuff like that, it uses its fifth core, which is very tiny and barely uses any battery. And this allows them to have the same battery life as the new iPad uh, with a battery that is almost half the size. Uh, so that is a very, very big factor that Apple obviously did not mention in their presentation. Uh, but that is the reason that the new iPad is so much thicker and a little bit heavier than the old iPad. Um, so basically, the processors in power are about equal um, but as far as battery efficiency goes the new iPad uses up a ton more battery it's gonna take longer to charge therefore and it will get hotter when you're using it um, stuff like that so in my opinion personally Tegra 3 still wins um, even though A5X may be a bit better with some graphics um, I know people are gonna yell at me um, or people are going to say the Snapdragon processor is better than all of them. Um, but keep in mind the Snapdragon is also a dual core. So if you're going to be uh, trying to run it in tablets and stuff like this, it is going to need a slightly bigger battery. Maybe not as big as A5X because it is dual core 1.5 gigahertz, but it still will have to be a little bit bigger. Um, so just give me your opinion down below in the comments and as to which you think is better. Uh, try not to be biased towards Apple or Android because I know some people are just complete fanboys of either, or and they will just bash the other without much reason. Um, so really look into it. 
uh, because when people told me at first that a dual core could be as powerful as a quad core, I didn't believe it. But then I did the research, and I found them to be at about equal in performance. Uh, just the one downside, as I said, is the very, very bad battery efficiency of the A5X, um, and hence the reason they had to upgrade the battery to a 45 watt hour, which is pretty crazy. Uh, so that's pretty much it for this little comparison. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, and please subscribe. And also, I'm going to be doing a giveaway of this case for the Asus Transformer. It's a silicon case on my other channel. With, I'll have details of how to enter there. Uh, if you want to go check it out, go up to my channel. And if you scroll down on my channel page, there's a section that says my other channels. And it should be right there called Mr. Android HQ. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you later.